Welcome back. Today we're going to finish talking about matter and energy in an ecosystem. If you'll remember last week, or earlier this week rather, we talked about matter and how matter is the stuff everything is made of. And we talked about energy, how energy is the power to move, grow, make heat, or reproduce. Today we're going to talk about how matter and energy moving through the ecosystem looks different. Let's jump in. So the big idea today is matter is a circle. So I'm going to write that right here. Matter is a circle. So I'm going to write matter. It keeps on going around and around and around and around and around. It doesn't get used up and it stays on the planet. Energy is a line. It goes through the different organisms and everybody takes a bite out of it. And by the time the decomposers are done with it, it's all used up. Let's look at the um, producers and consumers and decomposers we learned about and see how that looks. As a reminder, matter is the stuff everything is made of. If it has mass and takes up space, then it is matter. Energy, on the other hand, is the power to move, grow, make heat, or reproduce. So if it's moving, Growing, giving off heat or reproducing, it is using energy. Let's keep that going, and throughout the year, we'll continue to build our understanding of that. All right, so here we have matter. I'm going to switch to my blue for matter. We are starting by looking at the tree. The tree gets eaten by the elephant, right? Elephants can eat. Um, producers. The tree also gives off carbon dioxide, or it takes in carbon dioxide and gives off oxygen that the elephant will use. So I am going to write food. The elephant can eat the producer, and it can also take in oxygen from the tree. None of these things are getting used up. They just get turned into other stuff. Just like matter is kind of like Legos. If you dump out a bin of Legos, you could maybe build a house. And then maybe you decide you're going to build something else and you take that house apart and you build a truck. And then you want to build something else. You take that truck apart and you build a playground. Those Legos keep getting taken apart and built into something else, but they're not going away. They're just getting rearranged. But now that the elephant has eaten the plant as food and breathed in its oxygen, the elephant is going to give carbon dioxide back to the plant. The elephant breathes that out. It doesn't go away. It just gets turned into something new. Its molecules get rearranged and gets sent back to the plant. The elephant also is giving stuff to the decomposers. The elephant is pooping and the decomposers get that. And eventually our elephant will die and it will also be decomposed. So the elephant is giving waste, which means poop. And it's also going to get its dead body will get broken down. In this way, all the matter that the elephant takes in either gets given back to a plant as carbon dioxide, or gets given off as waste to be decomposed, or eventually the matter in its body gets decomposed when it dies. And then I've got these mushrooms and fungus and bacteria. We know they're also going to take in oxygen from the plant. And then they're going to give off carbon dioxide to the plant. They're also going to give the plant nutrients. So as you can see, everything is taking in some matter and giving off some matter. They're each breaking apart the Legos and building something new. But if you'll notice, nothing's getting used up and going away. It's just moving. It goes around and around and around and around and around like a circle. And we talked about that. We said matter is like a circle. Now, it's not a perfect circle. And some of you are probably going, well, wait a second. Sometimes the line goes from one side to the other and back again. And you're right. It's not a perfect circle. But the big idea is the matter is not going away. The matter stays on our planet. There's very little matter that leaves our planet. And matter's not getting destroyed. It's staying here and being used over and over in different ways. 
as we get into our next couple of units, we'll start to talk about how does matter change from one type of a thing to another type of a thing. Today, though, our focus is just understanding the matter's not going away or getting used up. It sticks around and just keeps getting recycled forever. Energy, however, is a different story. So the energy starts with this guy, the sun, and the sun is giving energy. Oops, let's make sure it's working. The sun is giving energy to the plant. The plant is absorbing all of this sunlight energy and using it to grow and give off heat and reproduce. So if you look, I've got lots of arrows coming from the sun. The sun is giving the plant lots of energy. And the plant is using that energy, and some of that energy, the plant will just use up. So let me use an easier to see color. So this energy gets used up, this energy gets used up. Some of the energy, the plant is going to use up. It's going to use it to grow, use it to reproduce, uh, use it in heat. The plant is going to use up some of this energy, and only some of it gets stored in its leaves. The elephant comes along and eats those leaves, so the elephant is going to get some of that energy. If you'll notice, though, the elephant can only get the energy that didn't get used up. The sun gave lots of energy. Do you see how the elephant got less of it? There's less of it available now because the plant used some of it. And the elephant's going to do the exact same thing that the plant did. The elephant is going to use some of that energy. So it's going to use some of that energy to grow and to move around. It takes energy to do those things. And the plant's going to use, or I'm sorry, the elephant's going to use some of that energy to reproduce. And it's also going to give off some of it as heat. That energy is getting used up. Eventually, we know that the elephant's going to poop, and there's some energy in its poop. The elephant's eventually going to die, and its body will be broken down by decomposers like this mushroom, the mold, or the bacteria. And as you notice, you might be seeing this, wow, there was like a lot of energy coming from the sun, and the plant got lots of energy, and the elephant got a little less energy. But look, there's only one little sad line of energy going to the fungus. It's getting used up, and the mushroom and the bacteria and the fungus are going to use up what little energy is left until there's no more. If you'll notice, there's no more energy to keep sharing. The energy is done. It all got used up. So there's no energy to go from the decomposer back to the plant. The plant has to rely on the energy that keeps coming from the sun. That's why we say energy is a line. It starts at the sun and it travels through all the layers of the food web, but it doesn't keep going. It starts at the plant, it works its way through the consumer, and then the decomposer, and then it's done. It's all used up. The energy in our ecosystems is a line. Let's use our colors to think about what that looks like in our food web. In order to do this, I need to start by drawing in my sun. Here's my sun. Oops. There, I'm trying to give it some rays. Oh dear. Well, I hope you know that that's the sun. Let's talk about energy. Energy comes from the sun to the producer. The producer gives energy to the consumers who pass it through when they eat each other. When the apex predator dies, it gives energy to the decomposer. And that's the end of the line for energy. In fact, I can even come in and make my energy arrows really big here, and then a little bit smaller, and a little bit smaller, and a little bit smaller, and really little at the end. There is no more energy. I'm gonna draw a line. That's the end. No more energy to go back to the producer. It's getting used up. However, the matter is different. The matter that's in the plant goes to the grasshopper, it gets eaten by everybody, and it keeps on moving. It doesn't get used up. It just gets moved around in a circle. And sometimes it's more of like a web than a circle because these guys are gonna give, er, gonna give matter to the decomposers 
and they also give matter back to the plant when they breathe out. So you can see the energy is more of a line and the matter is kind of a complex circle, maybe more of a web. That's a really big fifth grade idea. When things are eating other things, they are getting matter and they are getting energy. The matter continues to move around forever and the energy gets used up. Those are our big fifth grade ideas. We're going to continue to work with this tomorrow and over the next week as we grow our understanding of matter and energy in the ecosystem.